Live from Philadelphia, this is Good Day. We're getting right. close. It is 742. Jen Frederick has some fun stuff for you today. Hi, Jen. Hello. Um, okay, see this right here? Yeah. This is an example of a good facelift. But there are plenty of examples of bad facelifts. Kenny Rogers, John Rivers, Bruce Jenner. So we're going to talk a little bit about what they're doing differently. And by they, I mean Dr. Bloom. And we have a lovely patient here. She's going to help us out with all of it. So come back after the break. And by the way, she looks refreshed, doesn't she? It is 7.49. We have seen the celebrities who have had, uh, well, bad face lifts. I think sometimes they just go too far or well, something like that. But you think about Meg Ryan? She regrets it. She admits it, right? That's right. How about Lisa Renner with her lips? So here's the thing. Jen is going to make everybody happy today. You're in Ardmore with Dr. Jason Bloom. He knows how to do it where it just looks natural, right? That's what we're talking about. Good morning to everyone. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Nice to see everyone. So let's get to the naughty stuff first, okay, Dr. Bloom? Gotcha. Let's, let's talk about a bad facelift. And one of the ones that people look at all the time, bless his heart, is Kenny Rogers. And I think everyone liked how rugged and manly that he was. You look at this, and, and you mentioned it, and it opened my eyes. You say he looks a bit feminine. Absolutely. I think in, with his lift, he has a lot of taut or tight skin. It's pulled and it's kind of like swept up. So it changes the look of his eyes and it looks female. Yeah, and one of the things we always say is like, man, they pulled that skin right up. That's what they used to do. Right. Nowadays you have a new thing. It's called facial planing. It's difficult to um, understand and digest, but you're gonna break it down easy for us. Basically what you do is you go in and you release some things within the muscle layer, correct? Right, this is a technique called a deep plane facelift. What I'm doing is actually taking the muscle layer of the face and actually resuspending it, releasing it first from its underlying attachments to the bone and the skin, and then resuspending it to a higher, more youthful position. Okay, and so uh, this young, young, young lady has not had anything like that, but you're gonna show the beginning of what it could look like when you might think you might wanna have something like that, right? Exactly, what happens is as we age, you have this tissue in the cheek mound here, and what happens is there are some ligaments that are connected to the skin and the underlying bone that, that remain connected here, both here and here. As the skin and soft tissues of the face begin to fall, it creates these lines here and lines here. You're still looking good, you're A good. A little bit of jowling as well in the, in the lower face and some laxity or looseness in the neck. Okay, and so what you would do is you would go under there and release that so it's not connected and then you could move with the muscle, not with the skin. Exactly, so rather than just taking this skin or muscle and sewing it back, you first need to dissect all the way out to these muscle attachments deep to the bone and skin and then release them before you resuspend or put them to a more youthful position. Do you think people are gonna start doing that thing more than the other thing that you guys were doing before? Well, That's the, medical talk there. Well, the, the, <laughs> the issue that, is, is that uh, some people are, are worried about that because it takes a little bit more time, really good knowledge of the anatomy, and um, you know, some people want a kind of a quick fix, but this is a lasting result. In my opinion, patients want results they want to look natural, and they want it to be long-lasting. Okay, so real quickly, you're gonna do something else for this young lady because she is not ready for a facelift, but Absolutely. she wants a little bit of rejuvenation. What are you gonna do for her? So one way that we can get by this is to camouflage these things. So what we're gonna do is use some fillers, facial fillers, and put fillers in these lines here. She came to me and said, I'm beginning to look like Howdy Doody because these, she, we call these marionette <laughs> lines, exactly. So what we're gonna do is put some fillers in these lines in order to camouflage this and make it look better so she doesn't need, you know, a facelift. This is kind of minimally invasive stuff we do. Okay, cool. So we're gonna see it at 845. Thank Perfect. you for being our victim. I mean, patient. Yeah. Um, Needles. <laughs> so, Mike, you won't see anything no. until an hour from now, and then you're gonna we'll show the before and the after. Oh, so we can see it before the show yeah. is over. The results. Yes, of course. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, it's howdy you're doody welcome. time. Thank you, Jen. Uh, it is 7:50. Dave the cow today. All right. Um, I want to get rid of these marionette lines. That marionette I have. lines. So, Jen Frederick, you may save a face, but I saved a cow. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we'll take care of <laughs> They just said, hey, Jen Frederick, face. you may save a face, but I just saved a cow. I think a face is more important. 
Or equally as well, important. Well, okay. okay, so Slow first down. of all, can you say hello? Look into this camera. Look at her. This looks amazing. And Dr. Bloom did this uh, in 15 oh, minutes. So close. Okay, let's do the before now, shall we? Sure. And let's talk about what you saw initially with, that led you to believe that this is what was right for her. Well, um, what we decided was that she really was annoyed about these marionette lines, as we call them. So I used actually a couple different fillers um, based on their properties. So one is more like a gel that gives you a little bit more lift, and okay. I put that in deeper. And then I used a almost a thick, syrupy type filler to use as a top coat for the small little lines. It, it took 15 minutes? Yeah, about mm -hmm. 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How'd it feel? Do you want me to tell the... I hate needles. Yes. I could never have been a junkie. I hate needles. Okay. But it wasn't that bad. And I'd do it again. You like how it looks? Yeah, I think it made a difference. I think it makes a, a big it's difference. It's not, you know, like, huge, oh my God, what happened to you? Right. But it's... Yeah, I have to tell you this. When we talked about doing this segment, I know a person who is young, and she had something like this done, and mm -hmm. she looked fat afterwards. Right. I hate to put it that way, but her face looked puffy. You Does just looked... look puffy? No, you look no. like you just had some kind of... Uh, awesome makeup or so I think her friends are gonna say what kind of makeup are you using are you having a new fruit drink or something exactly you look rejuvenated <laughs> but not fixed it's like the subliminal kind of reactions that you'll get That's this good. is natural and uh, I think it's rejuvenating it's really nice and how long will that last about six to nine months um, fillers in certain areas kind of um, break down a little bit faster but she'll get six to nine months out of that pretty well and it'll be like it's not like all of a sudden whammo it'll be like a slow leak exactly. she'll be able to see it a little bit at a time exactly it's more of a gradual breakdown of the of the filler and back to howdy doody no 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 <laughs> and do you put in uh less next time because she already has some like how does that work there has been some research actually this was um a few years ago saying that by stretching the skin that the cells actually produce collagen. So you could actually need less filler the second or third time rather than the first. Okay, you look amazing, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. And if you're her girlfriends, you're gonna be jealous. Um, Michael Jen? Chanel, now here's the thing, yes sir. I gotta tell you this, we ran the, f the video from the hour before, before you did the fillers. Yeah, yeah. This looks fantastic. It, looks great. it went I away. Know. She came out and I was like, and I, you know, I expect great things from you. I'm not saying that I'm not expecting, but doesn't it look really good? It does. It looks a lot better. It, it just, I think the whole, it looks natural. It looks like it belongs on her face. Sure. Is that a weird thing to say? No, it looks I mean, natural. it looks like you had some kind of superstar makeup treatment as opposed right. to How much is the it? fine. How much is it? Um, it's about, started around 625 a syringe. Okay. Oh. Uh, but listen, we're paying $150 for some dumb facial that doesn't do half. That's right? true. You're right. The last You're right. Nine months. Oh, last. Not to do a commercial, but I have to say, it, it looks, looks really, really good. Thank you. Good. Looks Congratulations. Like she just had a long spa retreat vacation. Yes. We all had yes. A vacation. Yes. Good stuff, yes. Jen. Hey, come up. We're going to get your hair free. Okay, cool. Okay. Uh, we're going to take your hair off. Wow. The next was... hour. <laughs> we are giving. And we're honest. We'll say if it didn't look like it was oh, worth yeah. it. That was. They went away. It was gone. It's got to hurt, though. Uh, what would you do if there uh, was no, just not there I wanna yet? I want to meet Nelly. Okay, Nelly. Uh, but first of all, we got to take some hair off of a man. Even though he has no hair, <laughs> Jen's going to find some hair, I bet, that he, she can uh, remove from his body. Now, Mike, we've yes. gone over this before. What happens is they shave the hair off all before right. they do the lasering. Oh. So before, he was a hairy beast. Yes. Now... He's not so hairy. And what they're going to do is they're going to do some lasering. Now, let's introduce everyone that's here. This okay. is Stan, our victim. Dr. Bernstein, good morning to you. Good morning. And, of course, Amber Joy. Now, why is Amber Joy here? Why is Real PA Muse USA here? Because you just did this. What we're talking about, it's a laser that goes twice as fast as anything you've ever used it before. It is super, yeah, like okay. a Ferrari. It's a Ferrari, and it's you can fast. do all kinds of different skin tones. So you literally just use the same machine on Amber Joy. Right. It's two lasers in one, so you got the one for the my skin tone and for darker skin. Okay, and you've had hair taken off before. This was different how? It was just rapid fast. It was like two minutes. So people always complain about the pain, but it's so quick, it doesn't really, it's so worth it. Okay, she's got a smile on her face. Let's see how Dan does. So you're going to take some hair off of him. And again, uh, Lisa had said that sometimes it can take an hour and a half, two hours to do someone's back like this. Right. but. With uh, this type of laser, it's way faster. It's way, 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 way faster. Yeah, we're ready. In fact, I think we'll be looking to go to the Guinness Book. Really? 
I'm serious. And he's not flinching at all. Well, he's very brave. Is it less pain, or is it just because they know it's going to go faster, they can, like, deal with it? Uh, it might be both. The cooling's a little bit more efficient, but this laser is unbelievably quick. Okay. I mean, that's a huge spot. And she's just going bam, 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 bam. Exactly. And so um, will the hair not grow back as fast? How long will, if he gets this done today? So we usually bring, after a back treatment, probably two months. Yeah. Probably bring him back in two months for another treatment. Usually get a series of treatments and then kind of you're good. Yeah. Maintenance could be six months, a year, but it really works. And for big areas like this, this is huge. It used to take me like three and a half, four hours. And you said the other thing is a lot of times people might be tan, like on their legs, uh, pale on their face. There's different types of skin color within Absolutely. one person. Yeah, the biggest deal with lasers is treating dark skin. That means either tan or skin of color. And this laser has two wavelengths, two lasers inside basically. One for treating darker skin and one for treating people like me. So it's all in one. So you can treat every skin type. Now, um, I was speaking with someone at your front office, and she said this is the time of year when everyone's thinking about it. So do you have to start now if you want to be hair free? Yeah, you summer? have to start now. And it's like, like that with a lot of stuff we do with lasers. I want to tattoo off and get married Wednesday. No good. <laughs> so you got to start now. And this laser, this is one of the first ones in the country. Like, you know, I call you when it's something brand new. Yeah. This is brand, brand, brand new. And um, how is it so much faster as we wrap it up? You know what? It just, the, the pulses come much like at double the speed. Okay. And it's just a design inside. The engineers are smart people. <laughs> they designed it okay. so that it's fast. I love it. All right. Well, thank you, Dan, for being our victim. You look adorable. Thank you, Amber Joy, for being our victim. Mike Jerick, we're just getting everyone ready for a beach of Palooza here. Hey. Right. I need the beach. <laughs> yeah. Some good looking it's humans. It's going to be warm up outside. That's right. They don't have ugly people coming here. Apparently, no you have question. to be adorable to come here. Okay, fine. I understand <laughs> Thanks, that. Jeff. Thanks, uh, Jeff. Say hi to Amber for me. Yeah, uh, speaking of adorable.